This is Laos, one of the least visited and highly underrated countries in Southeast Asia. In the next couple of videos, we will blow you away with this country. This is a real struggle. It's starting to get really narrow now. Oh, I'm freaking out a little bit. Hello? Good morning from Nongkiao. We are currently on the bridge and this place is just looking insane. We've got mist. Basically, in the mornings here, because of the tall mountains, the air drops and it basically comes really cold and you get this incredible mist. But guys, this is just beautiful. We are just having breakfast on this beautiful little balcony over here with just views out to Nongkiao and the mountains in the background. It is so cold here in the mornings, but hopefully it is gonna warm up throughout the day. And I do think it gets up to like 26 degrees. So that is pretty warm, but just warming ourselves up with a Lao coffee. Or have you got Amelia? A Lao green tea. So good. If you are interested, this is Cuba. They've got loads of Western options, Lao options for food and drinks. It is a little bit more expensive than some other places, but yeah, it's really good food. We've moved to the table, so it's easier to eat. I've got a chicken fried rice, as I do. I do love rice. And Amelia's <laughs> gone for that. I've got some muesli fruit yogurt, which is a bit of a treat because you don't normally get this stuff in Asia. Yeah. There we go. We're going to dig in. So it is warming up a little bit, so we're going to rent some bikes and head up the road that way. And I think there's a cave that we might try and look at, but yeah, I think the views look amazing, so we're going to go check it out. So we are renting some bikes. I've got this little mountain bike. It's actually looking pretty decent, so I'm excited for this. We're just gonna go along the road and just see what we see and explore this beautiful village. If you watched us in Bangkok, this is Amelia's second time riding a bike. You're just filming me for entertainment. <laughs> oh yeah. Straight, oh. No. <laughs> so we are now cycling along the road. Honestly, these bikes aren't amazing, but there are 60,000 each. Um, yeah, and we're gonna try and head to this cave. We've just kind of come out of town now. And yeah, how are you getting on, Amelia? Okay, <laughs> I'm struggling a bit, but I'm getting there. Yeah. Confidence you... is building. We're on a downhill stretch, so we're going quite fast now. Whoa, the gears don't really work on this bike, so I'm pedaling like super, super fast sometimes. And then other times I'm hardly pedaling. I'm now going uphill and it's really tough. Oh, it's really tough. So I think the big cliff on my right is the one we're going into the cave. So I think we're nearly here. Although we've got across the river, so I'm not sure how we're gonna do that. But yeah, let's have a look. I think the entrance is just here. Welcome to Far Top Cave. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> look at me. <laughs> So those very friendly Lao people, would, they couldn't really speak English, but they just wanted their photo taken and have a look in the camera. We're just going along the bamboo bridge and it feels a bit rickety, but I think it's safe. Yeah. I'm sure it's fine, yeah. <laughs> they seem very interested in us here. Sabaydi. So we just pay 20,000 kit per person to get into the cave. Apparently there's three caves and this is where they used to shelter from the bombs. Because if you didn't know, in the Vietnam War, basically they dropped bombs, which they didn't drop on Vietnam in Laos. And so there's, in Laos, there's so many different bombs all over um, Laos. So this is one of like the little bombs where it was dropped here. Um, and apparently it says here it was a civil war in 1967. So yeah, pretty crazy really. Right, mm. should we go to the cave? Yeah, we've got two friends with us still. Yeah. I'm gonna go check it out. And these stairs are getting pretty small, I'll be honest. Oh, a bit of a struggle, isn't it? It is pretty steep, but um, these kids were telling us that apparently the, they used to climb up the, the side of the cave, so at least we've got stairs. Yeah. It is getting pretty, pretty dark in here, I'm not gonna lie. And apparently there's bats in here as well, so be careful not to startle any. We don't want to have bats in our face. Oh, this is a bit scary. So we've come out of that cave and we're going on to the next cave now. We gave those kids a little bit of money just so we could have some space to ourselves. They were actually really helpful though. They gave us some like little talkings. We were like, oh, this is where they eat in the cave and stuff. So that was quite cool, but we want to explore by ourselves. Let's have a look. So we've heard there's one cave that's like a really thin entrance. It's like 0 0.3 meters. So you have to literally crawl. I'm not sure if we're going to find that one or that we'll want to go down it, but let's have a look. Yeah. <laughs> Is this the entrance? I think so. Oh. I hope so, because I'm getting tired. 
We don't even have a torch to go oh, into. Okay. It's got that cave smell. A cave smell. <laughs> a cave smell, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but yeah. Here we go in. Let's go. Let's go in. It might be a bit cooler in here. It is pretty dark, but we're going to give it a go, even though this is not really what we want to do. I guess it'll be good for the content. It's so small. Which way do you want to go? Uh, no way. <laughs> I'm not sure how much you can see of this, but it's like a little river canyon, but in a cave. This is crazy. What? This is crazy. Yeah, I'm not so keen on this. Whew. Trying to keep my cool, but I'm not so good with this. We're just going in deeper into this cave. We don't even know the way. Hello? Wait, don't say anything. It's so quiet. That is crazy. We didn't get given a torch, so we've only got our phone lights. And honestly, like, I wish I had a big torch right now. <laughs> yeah. My battery is not looking good. It's starting to get really narrow now. Look, down here. Whoa. The fact that people used to hide down here because this was like the best way to escape the bombs. I can't imagine what they went through, but... I don't think we can go any deeper now, like, it's so narrow, but I think that's the end of the cave. It's so hard to see because I've only got the phone light, but I think, I think we're at the end of the cave. All right, we're going to turn back because we are so deep in this cave. My white t-shirt looks a bit black. We're way too deep. Let's get out of here. I've seen daylight. We've made it. <laughs> we're out. Finally. Yes. Victory! Well done. Oh, I'm tired. High five though, that was a good job. Yeah, I'm quite proud of us actually. Yeah. Do you know, I didn't think we'd do that. <laughs> we have finished at the cave. Thankfully we're out in just one piece. That was a little bit scary, but it's good to face your fears. But we are going to be heading up to the epic viewpoint here in Nongkiao, and I'm so excited for this for sunset. Whew. I need some water first though, because yeah. we forgot to bring some. I'm, I'm very thirsty. <laughs> I'm very thirsty. But yeah, this viewpoint is supposed to be absolutely insane. And I can't wait. I just can't wait to get up there. Back across the bamboo bridge. Woohoo! There's some goats on the side of the road. Bye-bye. <laughs> So here we are, we're starting the trek. So this is actually the smaller viewpoint, but we thought we'd take it easy because we've had you know, a crazy few days um, in Luang Prabang and here and on the slow boat. So we decided to take it easy. But this viewpoint is gonna be insane. I already know it. I don't know how far it is up. I think it's something like uh, maybe 30 minutes or something like that, but it's not as big as the other one, which can take like an hour or longer. <sighs> Oh, my legs are tired already, honestly. <laughs> From that cave. From that cave. There was a bit of a trek to get in there. It's just the anxiety, like leg shaking, going through a dark cave. The views already are just insane. Oh, this is very different to a dark cave. I'm getting severely sweaty now. It is so hot. Obviously this morning it was really cold and like misty and real chill to the air, but now it is so hot, isn't it? We're sweating. This is a real struggle. <sighs> I think we've just arrived at the top. Oh, about 20 minutes, I think, walk. 15, 20 minute walk. Not too bad at all. But wow, these views. I am just blown away. Honestly, this is one of the most beautiful towns I have visited in Southeast Asia. There's just such a limited amount of tourists and there's so many different viewpoints to climb, activities to do. Unfortunately, we didn't have lots of time here in Nongkiao, but it is so worth just going slightly out of your way from Luang Prabang, head up north and you'll be rewarded. You can go on kayak trips down the river, go on hikes through the mountains. This place is just a little gem and you just have to add it to your trip here in Laos. But it was absolutely beautiful. Highly, highly recommend coming to this viewpoint because it's only a 15, 20 minute walk if you're quite quick. Nongkiao viewpoint. Yeah, right, let's head 
back to our place. <laughs> if there is one thing you do from this video, that is add Nonki Hour to your travel bucket list. It is so beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit subscribe. It helps us to keep on traveling, living the dream. And we'll see you in the next video. See you later. Bye.